Good day, my name is Anara. I am highly expressed introvert, melancholic and future foreign language teacher. Hello, my name is Altna. I am highly expressed extrovert, sanguine, future language teacher. Hi, my name is Mohaya. I am highly expressed introvert, melancholic. I am also future language teacher. Now we are going to present our research work made last year on the topic learners' temperament preferences and foreign language tasks. The main aim of this study is to explore the importance of individual differences and the influence of extroversion and introversion on university students' preference of tasks in foreign language learning. We are the first who attempted to make a survey highlighting preferences of learners with different temperament. And the significance of our research is to help teachers to organize student-centered lesson during their work. So what does being an extrovert or introvert actually mean? Extrovert people, they are sociable and they can become bored easily. They are optimistic and carefully. What about introverts? Introverts plan their actions beforehand and they can control their emotions. They are serious, reliable and pessimistic. We looked through many literature and found out that the importance of individual differences in learning foreign language as well as the reflection of temperament are both mentioned there. But there are no studies about the impact of extraversion, introversion and temperament types on learners' choice of activities. Therefore, we made this investigation to clarify this educational gap. Our research has several steps. Firstly, we work with the data students and based on their eyes and personality set test, we have the person to update their extraversion. Secondly, we ask them questions like what kind of activities and tasks they are always patient to do in English classes. Based on their answers, we made a survey which consisted of 100 questions. 50 were from their answers and 50 we took from books as Cambridge and Oxford. Then we highlighted 34 highly extroverts and introverts and we had a description for their tasks. Here comes research findings. By this research, we again proved that in teaching studies a lot of extroverts, there were 66 percentage, and for which we found a list of tasks. For extroverts, there were 32, for introverts, 31, and there were 10, which both of them didn't interest me, as well as 27 for introverts and extroverts highly interested. There are 10 least interesting tasks for both extroverts and introverts. They are including writing essay and sharing thoughts, doing arts listening tasks, making a PPT foreign language for discussion and listening, and finding the words according to the definition in the text, and etc. Let's have a short description of extrovert and introvert tasks. Extroverts refer to motivational, fast, and creative tasks. However, introverts do calm and relaxed, imaginative, and thoughtful tasks. In conclusion, we want to say that temperaments and foreign language tasks are positively related. Also, we have a list of tasks with which are equally interesting for extroverts and introverts. A design and survey can provide teachers with an instrument in order to meet individual differences and enhance effectiveness of learning. In the near future, we want to investigate this research in other Kazakhstani educational institutions and complement the survey with additional foreign language tasks.